But you need one more thing to have an epiphany. The imagination and curiosity you experience, but you also need reflection. Epiphanies do not happen without reflection. There's this beautiful conversation God has with Joshua. Moses is dead. Joshua is now in charge and he's scared to death. And he's about to cross into the promised land. It doesn't look like much of a promise because it's going to be nothing but war in the promise. See, some of us think that when we receive the promises of God, it means there's only peace. Now, when you receive the promise of God, it means you go to war because now God knows you're ready for the big challenges of life. And what God is saying to Joshua is, Joshua, if you will meditate on my words to you, if you will build your life and wrap your soul around my words to you, you will be prosperous and successful because every moment you need that new insight, every moment you need that breakthrough idea, every time you need that innovation, every time you need to elevate to a level you've never lived at before, I will pour into you the fire that no one can explain. And I want you to know, it's not Prometheus who stole fire from the gods, but Jesus who has come to put fire in your soul.